that immediately brings to mind beautiful fabrics, colorful sashes, and ornate accessories, carefully and precisely folded and worn, a traditional symbol of the land of the rising sun. These days, it's not common to dress in kimono, even in Japan. And so, who might suspect that this traditional practice would be carried forward through the generations by a group of high school students from the islands of Hawaii. Yet here at the University Laboratory School, located on the island of Oahu, a few devoted students and their teacher are doing just that. For over a generation, the school has offered a credit class which seeks to pass on the authentic tradition of kimono and Japanese culture to its students. Jin Sakihara founded the Kimono Culture Program about 30 years ago. And really, the, you know, the, the Kimono Culture Program serves as an educational venue to preserve the Kimono culture history and also to share that with, out in the community by way of the, the work of the students. Kimono culture is probably one of the most enriching experiences that I've had because I get to learn about my heritage and my culture. Well, I would describe kimono culture as a class that is teaching us about Japanese culture. And it's like perpetuating it through the community because we teach other high schoolers how to put on yukata. And it's just sensei teaching us about Japanese culture. The program is unique, not only among high schools in Hawaii, but on the mainland as well. I think it's unique in the United States because it's the one of a kind. It's the only one that is a credit class that's devoted to kimono culture entirely, not just a section from another, possibly an Asian studies course or a Japanese language course. I feel like kimono culture class is more of a Japanese culture class, and we learn a lot of different, we do a lot of different activities involving the Japanese culture. The sensei teaches you um, a lot of um, other things that she thinks about on the spot and it's not just anything you can read from the books. Um, we learn about ikebana, flower arranging, um, how to make the kumihimo, like we actually braid it. Um, during the autumn equinox we make ohagi, which is the little um, rice balls with a zuki bean on the outside. It's a chance where um, like I can learn about Japanese culture and about kimono and about tying and obi and stuff that um, people my age wouldn't really know about. Each of those things are extremely precise but really beautiful and you can see the thought that goes into everything that we do in class. Regardless if it's dressing someone or just another thing that we do. We also go into the community and give back and show what we've learned in class. So the learn correctly, and uh, whatever they learn, I expect them to hand down to the next generation, whoever outside the classroom. Correct thing and with accuracy and confidence. Throughout the years, lab school students have dressed thousands of children, students, and adults in traditional kimono. They've dressed local community members of all ages as well as their own peers from other island high schools. We dressed people in the community as part of our Shichigo-san events. 
and coming of different coming of age events where kids and adults alike they come in and we dress them so they get to take pictures really great experience for us and for them because most people don't know how to dress in kimonos and most people don't have the opportunity to do so so we give them that opportunity and it's really nice for us to give back and show what we've learned so the little girls, when you see them, they're so cute and you get to dress them up and they're just so happy and their moms are just doting on them with the camera. It's really fun to be able to teach other high school students because they're the same age as us and we just have that kind of connection. Before our first time to Tokai, we, we took turns being the teacher, sort of because Sensei was preparing us for teaching multiple high schoolers at one time. We tried to keep it simple because we didn't have a lot of time to teach them. It was a casual kimono that we taught them to wear. It was not very complicated, so it was just uh, the yukata and the obi cord. Being a high school student myself, I know what it's like, and I know how it might be confusing in the beginning, but I try to use what I learned in the beginning to teach those students. With such a high level of community involvement and outreach, the program has a strong reputation in Hawaii as well as in Japan. In fact, Sakihara Sensei has received critical acclaim from the Emperor of Japan. In 2009, Jean Sakihara received the Imperial Order of the Rising Sun with gold and silver rays from the Japanese government and the Emperor of Japan. It's really a prestigious award. It really comes from her 30 years of dedication and the preservation of the kimono culture here in Hawaii, and in particular here at the University Laboratory School. Sensei is an amazing teacher because she's pretty much a living legend. and. She has an amazing heart and an amazing passion to the Japanese culture. She's very fun in class and I really like how she explains stuff in depth when we learn new things and she doesn't just say, um, like, go on the surface about it, but she actually um, goes about the history of it and goes a lot in depth about the things we are learning and it makes the class very enjoyable and it makes us learn a lot in class. You can ask her anything you um, about the Japanese culture and she would know about it. She's very critical about details, but at the same time she's really awesome at teaching new things to us because she just goes really slowly and she makes sure to explain every single detail. And she explains why it's important and stuff like that. So really we learn so much from her. While the students may have different reasons for joining the program, it's clear that they all love it and receive much more than a few techniques for dressing in kimono. You get to see outside of the school and you get to share with other people what you've learned. And when you teach them and they get really happy after they learn how to wear their kimonos, it just makes you really happy too. Kimono culture is interesting and fun and it's not like any other class we have at school. I've learned how to be more of a perfectionist, I guess, because Sensei demands a lot of um, very detail-oriented kinds of things. She notices things that I would never notice. So I guess I've kind of learned to pick up on those little details. Everything is extremely well thought out and carefully done and I learned to be patient with what I do, to really think about what I'm doing and putting thought into everything that I do so it comes out precise and perfect. Not only do these students learn the tradition of dressing in kimono, but it's apparent they gain a deeper understanding, experience, and appreciation of the Japanese culture.
always very encouraging. Every, after every day of class, she says thank you for your hard work. And I find that a nice way to leave, and I feel like I'm doing something good.